Jesus is seeking only 3 minutes of your time today because tomorrow might be too late. In a world full of distractions and endless activities, it's easy to forget about the most important relationship of all, the one with our lovely creator. Every day we are given is a blessing and every moment is an opportunity to connect with God. But often we get caught up in our daily routine, forgetting to pause and give thanks for all the good things in our life. It's easy to let life pass us by without realizing how much we need God's guidance and love. The enemy will give you so many reasons not to show up. But I believe Jesus is asking you this. Can you show up even when you don't want to show up? Can you always obey even when you don't want to obey? Can you always trust his promises even when you don't understand? Dear child of God, if you find yourself in a similar season right now, where you are unsure of which way to go, where your circumstances are forcing you to give up on God. Don't allow the enemy to play tricks with your mind or to put lies in your heart. Don't allow him to keep you from moving forward with what God has called you to do. Keep showing up. Keep being obedient and keep trusting his words and you are going to see all that God does through your life. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. This verse is an invitation to surrender ourselves to God completely, to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, not just once but continuously as an act of worship. If you are truly willing to respond to Jesus for what he did for us, then there is only one way to truly respond and that is to live a surrendered life before God. Jesus isn't asking for hours of our time or a grand gesture. He simply wants to connect with us in the present moment. He wants us to understand that we are creations and we are always in need of our Creator. So, whether it is night or day, move towards Him. Whether you are happy or sad, seek His presence. All that you need and desire is found in Him alone. So come to God today and you will get something tomorrow. May you always come to God in every season and may He always shower His love upon you. In Jesus' name, Amen.